All right, so today we're gonna be using the Lunker City Fishing. This is the L Wive color. This is the Fin S Fish, little fluke here by Lunker City Fishing. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig it up, how to fish it, and how to catch a lot of bass on it. So let's get right into it. All right, so rigging a fluke is very easy. It's just like doing any Texas rig. If you're doing a worm or any creature bait, you're gonna go in right through the top there. And then you're gonna go down just about as long as this part is here. So I'm gonna poke through just like so. Then I'm gonna run that bait and it's gonna lay just like that. Then you're gonna take your hook and right where you see your hook start to bend. So right at this point here, that's gonna be your uh, poke spot right there. So you're gonna poke in right in through the bait and then it'll come out right on the side just like so and you have a perfectly texas rigged weedless fluke or soft jerk bait all right guys so to fish a, a fluke here it's basically they pretty much call it a soft jerk bait so you're gonna fish it just like a traditional hard jerk bait, you're gonna just give it this twitching action and you'll see your fluke start doing the S wave. It'll just start moving like a dying bait fish and that's what triggers those bass to key in on it. So it's a very simple way to fish it and a smart lure to throw when you're fishing weeds and lily pads. It's a weedless bait and it cuts through all those weeds very easily. So. We're gonna go ahead and try this for a little bit and see if we can pick anything up. Oh, really? And I've got calls. I've got calls. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's a nice one. Nice. That's a nice one. Alright, we are hooked up on the fins fish. Perfect. Here we go guys, there's the first fish. First little largemouth of the day. And that bass just came off of the fins fish here. This is the L Wive color. Pretty cool. Let's keep going, see if we can get a few more on camera here. He'll probably pick it up again. Oh, I dropped it. Shown, baby. Alright, second fish of the day on the fluke. <laughs> He's pulling hard. Oh my. Get in the boat. So guys, this fish actually hit before that and I missed him. I think I pulled the hook out of his mouth and casted like five, ten feet in front of him and twitched it back and he came back and smoked it. I mean, there really is no wrong way of fishing a fluke as long as you're twitching it and it's just moving in all crazy sorts of directions, that's going to get the fish's attention and they're just going to pick it up. They just think it's a fleeing bait fish. Just like that, if you're throwing it, I mean, the action underwater, you do have to throw these weightless is what I recommend. 
uh, but you can also put a bullet weight on there if you're fishing deeper water but I like to just keep it as natural as possible alright guys so that's pretty much it that's I mean the whole principle of fishing a fluke is very simple um, just gonna keep it short and sweet cut two fish on film for you just to show you how effective it is um, the setup I'm using here is a Shimano Stratic. Got it paired up with eight pound fluorocarbon. That is one thing you're gonna wanna make sure is you have fluorocarbon so your line and your fluke actually sink. Um, and I got it paired up on a St. Croix Avidax. This is a medium light, seven foot rod. So this is a pretty sensitive combo. Perfect for fishing these types of baits. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Give this a shot. It should put a lot of fish in the boat for you guys. So thanks for watching.